Hello there, welcome to this Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize sales invoices on Zero accounting software. We go to the top left of Zero, click on the company's name, and go down to settings. On this page, there should be invoice settings. For me, that shows under features. If Zero has changed the layout slightly since the creation of this video, it might appear under a different heading or maybe somewhere else on this page, but it should be on this page, invoice settings. If you click on that, we're taken to the invoice settings screen. Now the way this works is you create themes for each invoice template that you want to use. There's a standard template here. You can see the logo and the the settings of that template. There's a special projects template here. There's a very orange invoice template and there's a test template which I did earlier today. There's all these different themes they're called branding themes and then you can use these different themes depending on which customer you're invoicing. So you might have different invoice templates for different customers. Most of the time that's not going to be the case. You're just going to have one standard template that you'll use for all customers but there is this option to create all these different templates, to create numerous templates. To create your template, just click on New Branding Thing and fill in the details. Now, something you'll learn about Xero and something that I don't like about Xero, and I love the software in lots of areas, but one area I don't like is the invoice template. So it's quite limited. If you've been using, say, QuickBooks Online or Sage, their invoice templates are a lot more versatile. They're not as great on Xero. Basically, you name the template or the branding theme and fill in the details. Headings, what information you want to show. You know, If you want the registered address to show that's the company's registered address, you want your logo to show or not. You just fill in all these details. It's quite self-explanatory where you want the logo to appear, if you want taxes to be exclusive or inclusive, and then off you go. There are these boxes down here which are really useful to use. So this is to add text to the invoice. You might want to put something like payment within 30 days please. Something like that. Or thank you for your custom. Be creative but this is how you can add text to your invoices. When we're ready we click save I just need to name it. Let's name it the Bookkeeping Master Template. We'll save the template. It will now appear in our list of templates that we can use. It's down the bottom here. I, I don't have a logo yet, so to add a logo to the invoice template, you then use this option here. So if I click on here and we'll add a logo. So I've chosen my file, the Bookkeeper Master file. Let's upload that. And there we go. The logo is now appearing. To have a default template, you need to add or move the template to the top of the list. So whichever template is showing at the top here is the template that's going to be the default template. So at the moment, this standard template, if I create an invoice, then the template that will be used is the one showing at the top. So if there is a template you're going to be using more than others, you need to bring it to the top. And you do that by the top left here. You can click and drag. So if we want Bookkeeping Master to, to be at the top, we would just click and drag this and bring it up to the top. And then that would be the default template. So it's not the easiest to use. There we go. So that's now my default template. As mentioned earlier, you can use different templates for different customers. And the way you do that is when you create a contact, or if you want to edit a contact, we go to 24 locks here, we click on edit. So editing or creating a contact, there is this sales default tab. In here, you choose the brand and theme. So you choose which template you want to use invoice template for this customer. So we have Bookkeeping Master, this is the one I just created with the test, the very orange invoice. So it could be this customer, we're going to use the very 
orange invoice. If I save and close that, now every time we create an invoice on zero for 24 locks, it will use that template by default. So you can sign these different templates to different customers. So it's quite clever in that sense. Let's go back to the invoice settings. I suggest you just play around with it. You know, if you don't like what you've created, you can just delete it. If you need to change the logo or edit something, so it could be that we've created this bookkeeper master, or perhaps we like the standard template, which need to change a couple of things. You can just go here, click edit, and edit what you need, then click save, and then you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching another zero video.